Hello beautiful friends and bookish fam. My name is Brittany. Welcome back or welcome to Rescues and Reads. I have a couple of fairy loot unboxings today. So I typically don't do separate videos for fairy loot unboxings because I typically am only subscribed to their adult book only box. However, I recently just got in the mail their exclusive editions of House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Mass. And I wanted to go ahead and do a formal unboxing because I am sure that they are just beautiful. I am so excited. I have not opened the box or anything. I've been waiting for this video. And so I thought since I was going to go ahead and do a video for that unboxing, I might as well just do the unboxing also for May's adult book only box. So we're gonna go ahead and start with that one. One. The theme for May was Kiss or Kill. I'm not looking at the back to avoid spoilers. I don't know what the book is. Okay, so I see like these kind of orange-ish sprayed pages. Interesting. And I'm pulling it out and it is The Curse of Saints by Kate Dramas. And here is what that looks like. I have never heard of this book before. I have no idea what the original cover is supposed to look like, so I will be sure to overlay it here for you. Oh, oh, okay. We got some ombre effect going on there. That's kind of cool. And so it's black on the bottom. It's orange on the top and then this is the back. As usual, we got some gorgeous end pages here. All right, let's see what this is about. As spy master to the queen, Aya's blood oath ensures she protects those she fights alongside, including Will, the queen's enforcer, and Aya's bitter rival. When rumors of dark magic rise in a nearby kingdom, both are sent to investigate. But when Aya's power acts beyond her god's given affinity, she risks being turned into a weapon in a war she doesn't know how to win. And when her relationship with Will unexpectedly shifts, neither knows the danger that will follow. Okay, so that's very vague. It doesn't really give me a whole lot. I'm not entirely sure why what to expect. Oh, oh, check out the naked hardcover, y'all. Holy cow. That's the most beautiful part about this book. Oh, there is a map. Show it to you there. So that's cool. Can't have a good fantasy book without a map. Okay. So like I said, very vague synopsis. Really don't know what to expect from this, but I received it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I need to catch up on the other adult fairy loot books that I've gotten because I'm falling way, way far behind, but I'm going to go ahead and see what this one is all about. All right. Now on to the exclusive Crescent City books. I'm so excited. Okay. So they actually come in slip cases, which is pretty cool. And they are wrapped in plastic. So I need to go ahead and open those before I can show you. All right. So here is the slip case. How beautiful is that? Like, listen to the sound guys. That is some amazing ASMR magic right there. Uh, but yes, there is the front of the slip case. There is the side. There is the back with Sarah J Mass's signature. And then there is the spine of House of Earth and Blood. Let me take it out. Y'all, I just love these colors so much. Look at that beautiful gold foiling. Holy cow. Again, there's the spine. There's the back through love. All is possible. And then look at those sprayed edges, y'all. Oh my gosh, I cannot. How stunning is this book? Okay, let's see what we have underneath. On the end pages, y'all, we have our girls Bryce and Danica. I wonder if the back is different. Yep, we got our boys, Hunt and Rune. Oh my gosh, these illustrations are phenomenal. And of course, the naked hardcover is beautiful. Look at this, y'all. I just cannot. Oh my gosh, through love all is possible. I love that. Holy cow. And then again, those sprayed edges. Man, I think these are probably for sure some of the most beautiful books I've ever seen in my life. I don't think that there's anything else like in the book itself that is special. I think the actual contents of the book are the same, but just how stunning is this? beautiful. All right. And then the slip case for House of Sky and Breath is basically the same design and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and take off the book and show that to you. Okay. So here is the front. You have a snake up here. Have the wolf right here. Oh my gosh. You have some wings and the sword. My gosh, these are just so stunning. I love the original covers. I really, really do. But there is just something so phenomenal about this design. It just really gives you that high epic fantasy feel to me. There is the spine for this one light it up. Love that as well. And then again, beautiful, beautiful sprayed edges. On the end pages, once again, we have Bryce and our boy Hunt. And then on the back here, I'm pretty sure that this is Therian, but I'm not 100% sure about who this is. Maybe this is Cormac. I'm not sure because I haven't actually read this book. I just started it. I'm about 150 pages in, so I'm not too terribly far in considering this is an 800 page book, but I'm sure I'll figure out who that is. And then it looks like we got Hunt here on the naked hardcover on the spine. And then light it up. Oh my gosh. I just kind of get goosebumps when I hear this light it up Bryce. If you know, you know, from that one scene in Crescent City when Bryce is making the drop. Oh my gosh. Goosebumps chills. I just loved that scene so much. All right, y'all. That is really all that I have for this video. I just wanted to come on here because I had to share my excitement over these stunning, stunning books. I am so thrilled that I made the decision to go with these ones. I know that Illumicrate had their own special editions and I'm sure that those are beautiful, but they didn't have like the exclusive covers like this. And I cannot even tell you just how happy I am with these 
these exclusive covers. So I am thrilled to have these in my collection. They will definitely have a place of honor for sure. Fairy Loot continues just to kill it with the exclusive editions. They are just phenomenal in the designs that they do for these books. That is all that I have for this video. If you made it to the end, please comment down below and leave a moon emoji in honor of Lunathian. Or please also comment down below and let me know some of your favorite Fairy Loot or just exclusive editions in general. I would love to know. There are some that I am so sad that I missed out on, particularly the Illumicrate Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. I would probably sell my soul for that book. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I aim to post one video a week, possibly two, depending on what I can do, and I would sure love to see you in one of those next videos. Bye guys.